Tonight's show, Just Me Dermot! Thank you, thank you. We have a great show lined up for you tonight. You may know our guests from her previous hits, such as Rain Fortress and Be Quiet So You Can Focus on the Road. Her new hit, Suburbia, just hit number one on the Billboard charts. Oh, na na, what's her name? That's right. Oh, Rihanna is on our show. But before she comes out, why don't I give you some background on the suburbs themselves? See, the definition of a suburb is any residential area outside the city. But what we now associate with the term are the ones that uh, sprang up right after World War II and have ever since. Once considered the American ideal, the suburbs have taken on a lot of negative media attention. Let's see what Miss Suburbia herself has to say about it. Give it up for Flo Rihanna! Please have a seat. Let's get right into my question, shall we? So, what was your motivation behind the piece? What made you want to sing a song about suburbia? Well, my motivation would have to come from living in suburbia. I visited my friend one day and realized that his living room looked exactly like my living room. And then it hit me. I had to write a song! <laughs> your living room looked like your friend's living room, so you thought all living rooms looked the same. That sounds like an accurate sample. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> what about the blander than unbuttered toast or the Barbie wives? What are you trying to say about the people who live in suburbia? Well, all the wives dress like they're 20 years old again. But who are they trying to fool? <laughs> the suburbs are bland and boring, and I'm referring to the people. Whatever happened to exciting people who know how to have fun? What happened to individualism? Whatever happened to eccentricity? What happened to climbing on top of a hospital with a megaphone and screaming at the top of your lungs about nothing? I think all those people were arrested, actually. <laughs> why, why don't we take a question from the audience? Oh, yes, you, sir, in the blue. Oh, <coughs> uh, hi, my name is Tom. Actually, I'd have to completely disagree with you. I've lived in the suburbs all my life, and I don't appreciate you coming in and spreading these blasphemous lies. I have a bad influence for my children. You should be banned from the airwaves. <laughs> are the ones calling into the radio stations requesting my song. I don't, I don't think he's going to do my song. It's, um, really catchy. I mean, if you don't like it, turn off the radio. Or rip your ears out of your head! Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> you do make note in your song about the wide open space found in suburbia. I'm sure that the suburban viewers watching at home can appreciate that you made note of such yes. a positive attribute. There is a lot of space in suburbia. Useless space. But it's there. I mean, when I moved to New York to get my career started, I lived in this tiny three-bedroom apartment, which is not something I'm used to coming from a suburb of Minneapolis. Of course. Fascinating. Why don't we take another question from the audience? Um, yes, you in the red. Hi, if you were going to compare yourself to a famous dictator, who would it be? <laughs> Hitler, Stalin, just pick one. <laughs> Bum, bum, dee-dum, bum, bum, dee-dum, 